heart has its own intrinsic nervous system, which can sense, feel, remember, and process information that's independent from the brain. We always think of the information input system as being entirely in the brain. But we're now discovering information that the heart receives information first and then relays it to the brain. Studies have shown that the heart responds faster than the brain to outside stimulation. One of the more recent studies we did uh, in our labs was looking at the, what we ended up titling the electrophysiology of intuition. And there was some uh, previous research that had been done showing that the body would respond in a way that would predict a future event if the future event was emotionally significant and relevant to the person. Participants were attached to sensors to record their brainwave activity, heart activity, and heart-brain interactions. A person would be sitting in a computer, push a button, and then we're recording physiological data, and six, eight seconds later, you would be shown a, a photograph. Okay, and then the photograph would be from two opposite ends of the spectrum of emotional arousal. Participants were shown pictures of car accident victims, snakes attacking, and other disturbing images. On the other end of the spectrum, the pictures included flowers or sunsets. The photographs were randomly assigned for display to the participants. What's key here is the computer assigned not only which photograph, but which type of photograph after the data was already recorded. So it was absolutely impossible for the research subject, the experimenter, to have any kind of foreknowledge of what photograph it might be. The computer itself didn't even know. The results were surprising. The body responded even before the picture was displayed. What we found was that not only did the body indeed respond prior to the event, you know, the seeing the picture, in a, in a way that would predict it, but it was the heart that responded first. The heart's response was not only faster, but the signal it sent to the brain varied depending on the emotional content of the picture. Looking at the signals that the heart was sending to the brain, that the heart literally sent a different message to the brain, depending on what the future picture was going to be. Then you saw a brain response. Then you saw the body response, which is then where it then became conscious. So the flow of this uh, what, intuitive information is heart, brain, body, and then you have to have the body response for it to become consciously aware of it. What these experiments reveal is changing our basic understanding of how the human body functions. It appears as though the heart and brain, later, have access to a field of information not bound by time and space. If we're talking kind of quantum holographics or quantum physics, that's old news. So we're really starting to have ways now of showing that we really do have a, an energetic or an electronic system and um, that that's really primary, that it's really not bound by time and space.